nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, time for another nine ball lesson with the breaks. So, let's begin. Put up the balls with your gloved hand. Always, never use your uh, right hand. Okay. If you if you if you have a bad habit that you are touching the balls with your with your skin skin hand, put it in 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 your pocket. Put it in your pocket. And then try it again. That way, that way you will break your habit. Your bad habit will be broken. Just keep it in your pocket always. And uh, set up the balls like that. Touch the balls as much as possible with your glove hand. Okay. That seems to be good. There we go, and that, that will break your habit. Now I haven't touched at all with my other hand. That's very good. Very good. If you have time to rack the balls that way, you want to do it. And then you take out the hand from your pocket and start playing. And break the balls. I like to play it here as close to the rail as possible with, so I can use a close bridge. Close pitch. Let's see if I can do something. If I can aim better this time and, uh, and shoot harder. I want to shoot a little bit harder to show you that. Yeah, it's possible to shoot harder on the break shot. And on, you want to use a, a, a quicker, quicker strokes on the break and use a little wrist action. And then you want to combine it with what I taught you before that you want to. Uh, push the cue all the way to, to the pack. So just combine the, the two together to get a really exposed, a very hard break. Yeah, there we go. And you don't want to put it into, into, the, into the exact same spot because then it will jump. Many players put it in, in, in the hole exactly the same way every time. That is how it will jump up. Okay, just put it a little different every time on, on the cloth. And I will, I will make quick strokes here. Like that. But between every few strokes, you want to add, add adjust the aiming a little bit. And then you go again. Let's see if this is good. If it's not good, you add adjust the aiming like that a little bit. And then you try again, a few strokes. And when it starts to feel good, then you start, then you are, then you are going to pull the trigger. You finally pull the trigger. Uh, yeah, now it looks good. And then I do few few strokes again. I do few I do few quick strokes again, and then I pull the trigger. Okay. Does this look good? No, it doesn't look good. Change a little bit. Does this look good? Yes, this looks good. And then you do it again. Many quick strokes, and then you pull the trigger. Like that. And you saw that uh, I got a little, I got side spin on the cue ball. And you see, how the, you see how the accuracy is greatly, greatly reduced if you're attempting to shoot harder. You get very bad accuracy because you are not relaxed. Okay, I didn't get a good break. I used, I used more effort on my break now. I didn't get a good break. So if you keep, if you keep relaxed, you maybe want to use about. 50% of your maximum power, you get very good breaks. And I, will, I will do it again. So touch as little as possible with your other hand, just with the tip of your finger, like that. That is good enough. So there. Now I will do it again. I will do the break again. This time I will be very relaxed, and I, I think I get, I think I can get a much much better break if I'm just relaxed. Not focusing on shooting hard, just focus on uh, pushing the cue all the way through to the to the pack. That way, I get even better breaks. Okay, just need to be relaxed. Focus on uh, the cue all the way, going all the way to, to the one ball. Relaxed. <coughs> much better break. Much better break. Can you believe it? Oh, there you go. No effort. 
Okay. When I didn't use any effort in the brake, I got a straighter brake. I hit it full on. I got a lot of speed on the cue ball as well. No effort at all in my brake, like in my in my previous brake, when I accidentally got side spin on the cue ball and scratch in the side. Okay, very, very uh, much better idea that you are going to keep keep relaxed. You don't need so much speed on the cue ball anyway. This is good enough. Do you agree? This is good enough. You don't you don't need extra speed. Look at that very nice position on the on the one ball there. So let's continue. I want to get position on the three ball here. Can the five pass the eight? Uh, it can't pass the eight unless you cheat the pocket and hit the rail first. But that that is too tough. You want to get the cue ball to the other side of the of the, of the five uh, from the three ball, and that is really really difficult. Very difficult. So I would like to, to gamble a little bit. Maybe hit the five with the cue ball. Because how are you going to get to the five ball, okay? Maybe you can make uh, a bank shot, but the six is in a tough place if you make a bank shot. Uh, so if you are here on the three ball, you can go one rail, two rails, and come to the five that way. But the seven is in the way, okay? That will destroy everything. And also because the six is in a tough place. Because the six is in a tough place, you want to move the five closer. You want to hit the five with the cue ball, push it closer to the six because the six is in a tough place. Okay, that's, that is a very good strategy here. So on, on the one ball already, I want to carry them into the five. Push it closer to the center of the table and have an easy shot on the five and then you can easily get to the six because they are so close to each other. So here I want to use a lot of uh, right uh, spin. And if I miss the five, if I go this way with the cue ball, if I miss the five and I hit the three, the three ball will come closer to the, to the corner here. So I can get easier position to the five. Okay, I will do that. A lot of right spin. A tough shot when you need to reach as well. Now, I missed it. I missed it. I missed everything. Do it again. Yeah, there you go. Let's do it again. Tough when you have to reach like that. Okay, let's do it again. Maybe if you are going to. If you, if you are bad at reaching the shot, maybe you can shoot left-handed instead. Left-handed. Oops, now I hit it. <laughs> I hit it too full this time. Do it again. Left-handed, very tough with left-handed left shot. There you go, now hit the side. Perfect, there you go, let's see, you see. Five close to the six. I can't do that any better than that. Wow. Now, easy posi position from the five to the six, and to the seven, to the eight. The game looks like it is over, okay? So you won the game from the first shot. It looked very difficult with position from the three to the five, eight was blocking everything. And now it is very easy for you, okay? Just, just try to hit the five, push it, push it closer here, beside the six ball. Now the position from the three to the five is very easy. And uh, you just need to be on, you want to be on this side of the five, somewhere here, roll in the five, get position for the six, okay? Here I, I will use left spin to uh, throw it in. I can hit full around on the three with left spin. Otherwise the cue ball, either, otherwise the cue ball would have ended up scratching in, in the side pocket. I use, use the same shot again, a lot of left spin. If I use a center ball, the cue ball will, will hit the rail there. It will go, come too far. It, it, will, it will pass the six. But if I use left spin, it is like a kill shot. It will slow down on the rail and prevent the cue ball from going too far. So a lot of left, left spin on this shot. Like that, it will kill. It will stop. Yeah, it, it, it stopped just before it went past this line, okay? Now I can still make the six in the, in the corner. 
very nice thing to know there. Very nice. Here I use, uh, yeah, uh, many ways to play this chart. The, the amateur way is to use inside spin, hit well there, there, and there. That is the amateur way, and I don't want to do that. Other way is to go near the corner, this way, hit the rail there, there, come this way for the seven, uh, but you might get too close to the corner and scratch. So what I rather do is, I want I will play position to the other side of the seven here, to this side of the seven, with the uh, top spin and left spin to avoid the, uh, oof, I went way too close to the corner, I did not want that. I'm going to do it again. I will do that again. You want to be as far away, you want to be further away from, from the from the, the corner there. Further. Something like that. That's very nice. That's, yeah, very nice there. That is the position play you want to play. Far away from the corner. No no risk of scratching. Position play very good for the seven and eight point is so easy there, so no problem here. And here I want to, where do I want to be on the 8? Like if I'm here on the 8, I can draw back like this for the 9, but the scratch, dangerous. If I'm here on the 8 ball and near the rail, yeah, that seems to be okay as well, but if I play position from the 8 ball to the 9, like that, I might scratch in the side here as well, so both, both of these choices are, are bad. Okay, and if I want to play closer position for the eight, somewhere here, then I need to reach the shot, and I don't want to reach the shot. I would like to be somewhere here, but the scratch is dangerous, dangerous there as well. So I think I'm going to play as close to that rail as possible and close to the eight. So I need to I need to play left-handed on the eight. I'm preparing for that. So start the cripple somewhere there, okay? Close to the eight. Low left spin. Oh, and I missed the shot. I'm aiming against the light there, so that is really messing me up. Like you saw in my last video, really mess messed me up with aiming, aiming. I can't see the cube because it is shining from the sun, sunlight. There you go, that is close to the eight. I went too far there, yeah. I'm lucky because I have a good shot on the eight near there. Very nice. Now that this shot becomes much easier now when I'm closer to the eight. And actually I can choose another alternative. Instead of going this this path with the cue ball, I can go around the table with left spin. There, there, and there with speed. That will avoid any scratch. Okay, I, I will not scratch on, on this jump. Top spin, top spin, left spin. Oh, that was way too soft. Way too soft, but yeah, I'm still okay. That is, that's a very, that's a makeable shot there. That is not, not too difficult. This is not a difficult shot, I'm, I'm still okay. But I had hopes to come even further with the keyboard. I hope to come further with the keyboard. Uh, do it again. Yeah, something like that. That's very nice. That's what I want. Little bit further, much easier to make the nine. This is a perfect position here. Perfect. And to yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I will do it again. I was really not thinking, thinking straight. Thinking clearly there. So avoid the scratch. There you go, hit the rail somewhere there. Uh, that's nice. Do I have do I have recording time? Seven minutes, that is not much much time left. So I'm gonna show you, yeah, I will show you the ending there that uh, from the from the eight ball. Uh, the other alternative. When you go this way with the with the with the cue ball, okay. Many many amateurs they do this, okay. They scratch in the side. I see that many many very often, very often. They come this way, very close to the side pocket. 
they want this kind of position, okay? Maybe they come too, too low down, get a very tough shot on the nine. That happens often. But that, that is not a good, good shot at all. And sadly, you see that every time in a tournament, very sad to see. They go like this every, every single time. Every time they go, go like this. Very risky shot. Very, very risky shot. I will do it again. Let's do it again. Sometimes they hit it too thin, and then they scratch, like that. You need to hit it very accurate, and you need good experience to, to avoid the scratch there. I will do it again. And there you go, scratch. That is, that is what I'm talking about. And that you see that many times in a tournament. Many, many times you see that. Do it my way instead. Do it my way instead. Top spin, left spin. Like that. Little bit too far, but I'm still okay. Yeah, uh, I can you can still make that shot. I, I will do it again. I want to show you that you can succeed every single time when you choose it this way. Too soft now, I'm still okay, you see. I can do this all night. That's a good position, yeah. I can do this all night. This is the way you want to play this shot. Remember that. Chop the cue. Top spin, left spin. Every single time. Perfect. You want to play like this. You don't need any good skill. You just need to know what to select. If you're going to go this way, then you, then you need very good skill to avoid this scratch there. It is very accurate. I need to aim very nice, very good to avoid the scratch. Very tough to avoid the scratch, you see. <laughs> so close to the side pocket. You don't want to do that. Never do that. Go around the cue ball, go be far away from this pocket with the cue ball. Go far away. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a make, make a shot. Not too difficult. This is a 100% uh, shot right here. Every single time. Every single time, good position on the nine. A winning shot. So you win from the eight ball already. And if you're going to select this path with the cue ball, 50% chance you lose. But many players do that anyway because they don't, they, don't, they don't know my secret. That is why. They don't know my secret. Scratch in the side. Oof. Very risky shot. And many players, they try to avoid the scratch by going too far down. And I will show you what they do. They go way too, way too far down here with the keyboard to try to avoid the scratch. Like this, this is what they do. Oh, too far down, very tough cut shot. Then they lose the game. Okay, you see that often. You see that too much. You see too, too much. And I will show you again how you should play that shot. This is how you need to play it. A little bit too hard, but I'm okay. I'm okay. There you go. And even if you hit the rail, it will slow down on the rail. It will not go too far down, okay? The rail is there to stop the cue ball. If you get too much speed on it. If you get too much speed on the cue ball, the rail will slow it down. It will not go too far down. But if you choose, if you choose this way, you go too far down, okay? 
I will do it again. Top spin, left spin. 100%. 100%. Okay. You need a knowledge, not skill. Okay. The game is won. The, I, I won the game on the eight ball every single time. Okay, if you, if you just select the, the proper proper shot, proper position shot. Okay, I told you this very good secret for you. Okay, so this is the end of the video. And the next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.